just put my sunflower back, really, shouldn't I? There we go. Oh. Calm down. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm with you, Lauren. All right, let's get her underway here. <laughs> Complexity starting on the CT side. Poison will have the diffuse kit, two flashes, and then USPs are plenty with armor behind it. But Squeaky Door is getting blown open. Molotov in to hold off that rotation and towards ramp. They barrel Oboe. We spoke about him getting exploited in the past. Oh, but Poison's there in support and good damage. Just a couple of flex towards Frozen. I do still see Util for the lower side. Conflict's controlled the lobby. That's going to keep him nice. Sound cue to fake the lower rotation, but they are gathering ramp. Obo and Config to receive. Obo oof, has his head knocked down to 16. This is a chance now from Config. Overwhelmed. And we'll get peppered down by the Glock. Still four on four. And bomb down. Pressure from Door. Small slam poem in the pistol. Love a bit of slam poetry to begin with. But yeah, the 4v4 post is going to be fun to watch. Poison's kind of locked out right now, and he's the one with the kit. So keep track of how his success goes and if his progress kicks in. Obo offering himself up for a trade and does even better than that. Takes down Bemis. That's stunning. You want to get him feeling good after that pressure that he had before, and he didn't really come up with the goods on. Rob's so going to stop it before it truly gets any problems going. And Blame F, last one alive. Time's ticking, and that kit's pretty far away. Stand off there. Hey, Chris J, you cheeky bastard. He'll get the kit, he'll get the frag. Everyone dead. So that's a mouse force round all the same. What's that going to indicate into the next round, Chad? Oh, force buy from Complexity, because they uh, always love a good old biff. But I think the positive signs, if you're blame, is having the Kevlar, not having to re-upgrade into that. The diffused kit will be great. It makes this even more potent. And I believe I saw him drop over a scout, which would be going towards the hands of Poison. So this complexity team can make the majority of rounds work. They're very, very strong individually across the board. Poison has that scout, has been left with $1,200 in the bank, which means his AWP will be able to come out on that first gun round. So they're prioritizing all of their players' strengths. And the Deagles with a shotgun. Oh, and ramp we go again. Oh, a chance for Obo squandered. Nade's not going to achieve too much. Karagas just ahead of it, though. Two Mac 10s hunting him down. He's only got six bullets in his desert. Eagle, he goes for the fight. Required precision, doesn't have it. Bomb's gonna be going down seconds from now. Config's Mag 7, how far can it get him? One. Nearly a chance for the second, but the spray from BMAS does double up. Four on two as the bomb is planted, courtesy of Chris J. Poison. Good tag towards Frozen. That's nine HP left now. Molly comes in. Using all that utility to buy time, and they got plenty of it too. Another Molly comes down. CTs are going nowhere. Time to back away, it looks like. Nice post plant utility usage, just costing them all those precious seconds. So Chad, just genuine question now, mm -hmm. like, cause I re I've, I've had days where the ramp room feels okay. And I've had days where it feels like this ramp room is not a one man job. Um, it won't, obviously that, that, that round where he only had a Desert Eagle isn't a perfect indicator, but if it continues, if Oboe is continually exploited and pressured and yep. loses that, forgoes that control, are we just having a second player, you know, boosting him up, playing fast rotate from heaven, or is there more to it? Some aggressions to keep him in check? Well, normally they do like to cheat a second man over there when they know they're going up against the Ecos. Okay. So, you know, against yeah. the pistol buyers. But what you could do is what we saw FaZe do in recent, where they put Brokey over there. So you could your put Poison over there with AWP. Now that will weaken your yard area and put more pressure on the duo having to deal with that. Uh, so that is an option. That is one way that you're able to just completely negate the ramp rush. Put an kept orb there. SMGs here. So Bemis is he continues to frag, if they start planting bombs and fragging out, he's going to have so much cash coming into the uh, resistance from complexity. And here is the stack, actually. You're going to see four CTs leaning the ramp way. See how quickly they've drawn out that respect. And now that it wasn't a rush, they've uh, <laughs> dropped off of there. So this is going to be in the back of the mind for complexity for the majority of the CT half here. That, hey, other teams have exploited a weakness. Obo has been overrun. And that could be the same game plan that at least Mao's want to put the fear of God in there within the early stages. And they've done that, right? That is signified by that stack. So mission accomplished, Carrigan coming on in here with a very simple plan, and it's working out. Now this one will stall out, and we get back to the regular flow of gameplay. There's a chance here, Carrigan, if his patience continues, Comfort could feed him this duel. It's all about timing, isn't it? Who sees who? There it is. Oh. But Comfort gets to keep his life for now. You're right, that could have been a little bit easier for Carrigan if the timing just favored him a touch more. Good read though, they've stacked towards top. I love Rush's angle here, because as soon as they start stepping out, as oh. soon as Confi gets a little ladder stall, YY 360. <laughs> Harrigan's dunked on Obo though, and he's continuing to play around this ladder. If he hits another one, I'm gonna scream. Rops is into the top side though, Blame trying his best from heaven. That's what I was talking about with Rush's position. The fast lobby flank has found another. Now disadvantage for the rifles here. 
And Config's up. Config's equipped. He's grabbed himself a Galil. That will be functional. Pressure from Blame. Another frag. And it's all onto Frozen to clutch it oh. up. The left eye peak. Config doesn't care. Punishes it. And it is a big first <laughs> round. Testosterone flowing through the server. And this is why I like the config story, because even though he's been humbled a little bit in terms of his work ethic, he still kept that flair to him, that little bit, bit of, of bad boy. showmanship. I love it. We need a couple more heels in Counter-Strike. I don't think that the config's a bad guy. I just think we need some people. Oh, but you like that personality. Yeah, and, and this is the thing. The community, they, uh, they seem to beat the players with personality down until they just Ugh. become wet sacks of cardboard. And all we hear in the interviews, my teammates are good. We try. We yeah. do our best. And yeah. we do good enemy good team we try hard too very respectful oh, look at all of those were you Is in the background there was a picture of alex there what? there was there was it was one of oboe was it blame and oboe and the other so. one was alex i, was I look like team. alex yeah, there was it was like a drawing of you Ooh, it's a pause. Middle. And is this a it. tech pause? So maybe we could look again? No, you don't do don't, don't say silly things. Don't get to see production. Don't say silly things, Lauren. We I said something silly. Or? Yeah, because that's you I don't I can't give it away right now. Um but Rush, are you with us? Hello. Can you explain to us what just happened in that last round? Because we need to break uh, it down. Sure. MC, can you give me some control here? Yeah, so I, what I saw was kind of like they kind of went towards inside here and they kind of like messed about a bit. They went a bit towards ramp yep. and uh, they had Carrigan obviously <laughs> pushing out towards here. Yep. You had Config who went underground. I believe he went through ramp and underground, mm -hmm. maybe uh, like yeah. somewhere like this way yeah, to the underground. Course. Uh, he took some shots at he Carrigan posted. here, yep. uh, yes. but then he like ducked back away uh -huh. and he went towards his vent. And at I that see. point, the top hut was coming I in. Get it they now. were coming through here, and that's when Config was ducking and diving up here. Right. Gets one kill. That, yeah. that's, that's a kill. kill. Yep, and then he like ducked back again yeah. and hid away. That's when Rush, who was Spider inside hut the whole time, he was the whole time. He snuck yeah, around. I you see. caught this, Alex. You did very well to catch this, and he destroyed this guy right here. Yep. And that left two people on the bomb site. Well, this and is great. You still oh. had one guy, Heaven, who was pestering a little bit. He did yeah. manage to pick up that one one yeah. CT player here. And that's when Config comes up the vent, right. grabs the rifle, I see. I see and now. that was the turning point of the round. Frozen did a, a very good job, but just couldn't quite get it. I hope you enjoyed my. And then Config shot the corpse, breakdown. and that was your update. Yay! Thank you, ladies. Yay! Rusty, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's here all week. Try the veal. Config <laughs> perhaps has a meal here. He's got the wall bang towards hut, but no one's home. And buying some space. They try their hand at the same. Very slow default spread. <clears throat> Do you think Rush gets nervous when Rush is in the server as well? That must be confusing. No, every time he hears you say, and Rush now, he his ears perk up a little bit more. Only when I say it, wow. Well, yeah, that's, that's very flattering, right. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Utility being held by the T's, though. Still plenty to play with. They could fall off this and do something quite uh, quite juicy. Yeah, they're going to do the wall smokes towards Yard right now. You can see them lining them up, Frozen setting up his. We've got a couple more coming on in from the remainder of the crew. And a late secret cross with 55 seconds left on the clock has taken the information away from complexity. And they've actually stalled out behind red, so they don't want to make any footsteps. They're just going to be walking, using that shift key to its absolute maximum. And now this is where I assume they want to pressure Blame F over towards ramp late. Sorry, Obo, not Blame Obo, F. Obo, right. Yeah, yeah. That's e O B O. That's the guy, little Robocop. And that's exactly what they're doing. Simple take here. It's going to look nice, actually, if they oh. pull this one off. They okay. take it out. They have playing with fire with 25 seconds. Left. Yeah, top. Ooh, Config's oh. just hit some absolute bangers and mash. Frozen and Beamus, get out. Poison's doing the same. My goodness, this is a quick roast dinner rustled up. Well, the two of them. That is lovely precision. And it was Mouse Sports as well that kind of fed themselves into that meat grinder. With 25 seconds left, a change and a pivot that cost them the round. Ugh. Clean and easy here. Nice stuff from Config. So no over-rotations, no pushing for information from Complexity. They were more than happy just to hold strong. And that's what I mean. This is a heads-up team who uh, have the strategical nuance. They do the counter strat. They do their prep. I saw uh, Casey Foster retweeting something yesterday of Keita and Refrag. So preparing a couple of things for today's matchup for sure. One of the early adopters of Refrag was the Complexity crew. And maybe, oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, it was like them and Liquid, a couple of other names. Hmm. So we'll just be the Glocks coming on out. We have a P250 in the hands of Rops. Nothing else to really write home about just here. As Blame F jumping, jiggling, jumping and diving and ducking and crouching and... Dipping. Dodging. Yeah, I don't know. He's doing some stuff. Doing stuff. Shoot some bullets though. There you go. He's listening. He's got, you know, Chad's on the microphone. 
Lame F. I hope they can't hear me right now. That'd be very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Just radio coming in. So he's seen two. So anyway, I went when I went to get the flowers, I went there and, and the woman from behind the counter, she says something in German. And I said, it's sure good, my Deutsch is nicht gut. And then she says something else in German. And then I just started speaking English. Yeah, I mean, that's probably how it's going to go. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty, it was a pretty good dialogue. Yeah. And then um, she said, put him in warm water, mm? not cooking water. And I was like, all right, I can do that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you want to boil, boil it. yourself. And we had to cut off the stems. So I cut off, well, I cut off half of the stems. I Lovely. Recently, I did all yeah. of that today. I did buy some, a, a new prayer plant recently. The ones that like ravel up when it's, I think it's like nighttime, they roll their leaves up. It's quite cool. So they like close their little leaf hand. Yeah, it's really cute. Uh, I haven't killed it yet. It's my only friend. Oh. So. You know, plants, uh, when you say nasty things to them, don't grow as fast. No. I didn't I didn't believe that because I'm like a proper Wait, pessimistic skeptical bastard but I watched it it's Apparently legit there's... they did some proper studies they had they put two of the same plant watered the same amount one of them had <laughs> so like, one of them had humans ugly. walk in and bully it and, the, <laughs> and in the other room they didn't bully the plant and the bullied plant didn't grow maybe that's Aww. why I'm short I'm, I'm, I'm bullied, telling Lara. you, I'm just saying like those little living creatures are far less complex than us <laughs> and people chat and schmoop to them. <laughs> Who abuses their plants? <laughs> I'm just I'm saying. I'm a bad day. <laughs> oh, poison's have abuse. A, poison might be having a bad day in a second here. Oh. Rock's going to take him out of the equation. Oh. That's the AWP dropped early, so a bit of aggression from complexity oh. here. Oh, oh yeah, so on, Obo. Have a oh, bit. I'm down for this. It's a weird off angle that he's on right now. It is, now. and I feel like BMS and Frozen, two very sharp individuals, could be caught out here. Rops as well. My God, they've just got a sprightly young frag heavy squad, have the Mouse Sports boys. Ooh, he spots him, but Obo still thrives and looks to retreat. Back of us. Oh, this is great. Drops the flash to buy time, drops the smoke now with one minute and 10 seconds remaining. Kerrigan descends into config's aim. Surely he Ooh. doesn't hit another one bang. Okay, bit more jiggle from Kerrigan this wow. time and revenge is served. We're into a four on three, numbers favoring Mouse, and they've got so much time to work with here, Lauren. And I love the room that Carrigan's garnered. Oh. Oh, Obo's up on this, though. He's ready for the challenge. Turns the flash, gets ready, nothing's there. He's a fake. able to call this, relay this information, and that may give Rush that second thing. Okay, I can still settle in, stay focused. Where are they? We've lost so much control. Excellent work from Obo to take down Carrigan, but the hit's still coming towards Rush. Oh, yeah. Nice shots from Chris J. Into the side, then Plant will come in. A Molotov to contain Blame. Won't be arriving from heaven just yet. Obo, two kills already to his name. 19 bullets in the magazine and blame full 30 as he advances from the heaven position. Doesn't have a smoke. Doesn't have much of a hope. And they do look to be backing away. Yeah, saving. So curious one here. Once Rush went down on the site without getting a kill, that was basically all she wrote. You can see the footsteps being made from Obo. Hasn't actually drawn anybody into the position. So him running away, he wanted to be noisy about that in case they wanted to chase from main or start moving in the top site. Could have set Blame up for a kill. Obo could have grabbed a cheeky one and they both could have come through that heaven position as they have defuse kits. So there's a lot more now that, look, it has been changed for a long time, but with the addition of extra 10 seconds on the clock and the bomb timer with an extra five, there's a feels like there's a lot more wiggle room in retakes. It used to be back in the day that uh, MIBR or the Brazilian squad, the LGs, the SKs, they were really, really patient in the retakes. They didn't really rush things, but now everybody's cotton onto that. And I think that's with the addition of time. You know, you can wait the first 20 seconds, the first 25, teams start to get a bit antsy. And once they move, you can capitalize and get in there with some sneaky retakes. But we do find ourselves going into round number seven, score lines tied up three each. Looks like a quicker approach towards the yard position here. So Smoke's coming out early to garner the red cross and blame, he's pushed forward. Oh my God, and there's a gap for Poison as well. Oh, an uncharacteristic miss, he's in jeopardy, but Blame still finds one. Tracer fire through the smoke, he knows it's a Help. risk. He's got a tiny gap, it's frozen the challenges. Hard to adjust in time, a four on four. Dust settles, Poison still having issues. It's Config again, continuing to be a thorn in their side every time, it doesn't matter how they try it whether it's vents or from secret. If you want lower, you've got to get through config. Just can't believe I saw Poison miss <laughs> Ubo though. It's been a while. Yeah, it just, that felt like one he'd hit every day. I was so ready to write it off, but Chris J and Bemus, how do you try and pull this one back? Well, they're looking again? for config, right? You know this, away this rat in the sewers. He's <laughs> got 46 HP and reaction speeds. Oh. So let's bring Chris down to his level, but now, Eliminated Obo to finish off the job. He knows there's one in the smoke. A nice pivot into the smoke from Chris. Enables the bomb plant. Can he get out? He can't poison around. He'd rather forget. Two on two. Very winnable now. Certainly. Sound cues are plenty. Chris J, good moves. He's going to have to find Rush cleanly. A nice frag from the CT. So Bemis, two flashes and a dream. Two players to find as well. 
time variable. They just need in. They could do a big chunk of damage. Oh, that was his chance. Oh, and Rush had some odd fights then. And he won both of them. Yeah, the fact that they was uh, already picking before the defuse got tapped there. Big stuff from Rush to be able to win that kind of a duel. The AWP will be scavenged, and you're right. We have seen a couple of misses from Poison that we'd usually see converted within these early stages. But it's not too much of a worry. The scoreline is four to three now. The plant is good for Mouse. It's going to stimulate that economy. It's going to give them the opportunity to consider a buy, or consider at least a half per chase. And you want to uh, avoid a lot of rounds like that if you are... Oh, 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 Chris, it's early, early days, mate. It's early days. Yeah, but he's into it. You know, you don't see Chris mad when they're losing, when they're not in the zone. That's true. Yeah, that's true. It's a hard top. He's only mad when he believes he can win, and Rops has proven they can. Top flashy is config. The behemoth has been slain. Rush. Oh my goodness, he's wow. been caught out this time. Bemus with just a P250 wins that dual oboe, trying to multi-kill. Carrigan not expecting a second in heaven, but it is a quiet one from Blame, and they will re-smoke him. Oh, no, they were. Well, it's good. Impossible retake right yep. now. They should uh, just think about saving. The... Money's not great. Easy as you like. That's uh, not the way. Okay. Ropsy oh, boy. No. Airlet, knife him. It's a Knif freebie. Oh. Oh. Frozen jumps around this corner for no reason. He wouldn't. Okay. okay. P250. And now blame his location has been scouted. <sighs> well, they are hunting, or at least yeah. they're thinking about the hunt. But now we have some problems if you're a complexity fan, because losing a round like that, you really shouldn't be dropping just the pistols onto the top side. It was simple as flashes through the smoke. You could see Config doing the flashbang dance with that opening kill. Rops through the flames. So one flash, one kill, then BMAS getting this is pretty much where the round <laughs> starts getting one. You know where Rush plays. Rush is either going to play on top of the hut, uh, if it gets Molotov in the early stages, obviously he can't play there, or behind the bomb box. That's pretty standard for Rush and his positioning. So they know as soon as they're trampling onto the site, if he's still alive, where to be looking. There you go, Alex. Top right. Top right. Hey, uh, I saw that one. He tweeted at me. I love that picture. That was back when I had a little bit more chub on the chin, but I appreciate the picture and I look very, very nice. All right, oh, save down four. Talk. Yeah, he is. He's feeling it. So just to note how he's able to get away with that, normally if you're throwing the smoke wall, the teams are just going to be waiting for that queue before they are even worried about spotting it. Here, they've just gone dry, they've gone wide, they've taken the fight and you can catch players off guard because you are far away that the sound queue won't be heard if the CTs are more defensive. They do have the opening onto that of Poison, so they have the 5v4 advantage in the mouse sports camp within the early stages, but now we've stalled out. So the territory has been taken. They'll wait and see if there's any CT aggression across Nuke. So far, so good. Obo and Rush are just holding. And in the lower site is Blame. Config making a move back up towards that ramp position. 55 seconds left on the clock. A bunch of utility. Got a game on our hands, I think, Hank. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. First one that's, uh, the first one that's first one ever. Yeah, I've is never... Is uh, me or Chad? I was going to Chad. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Miss you. We miss you, Henry. We hope you're doing name. well out there. Round nine now. <laughs> Chad <Nate. laughs> But we do, does definitely feel like we've got a real game. Not this round, of course, not indicative of much, Ooh. but Config reminding us of what he can do. This is low. Yeah, there's a world where he slaps the second, but it has to be in the shoulder. He does connect it. Config really making this costly. If Frozen was to be caught out here, he had wow. the right idea. Really nice attempt, but Blame, this was the saved M4 from the round prior. So if he can just continue to keep hold, maybe even do some damage, he does have himself a nice kill onto Frozen. Spots a glimpse of tight line from Rops. Hoping they'll give him something extra. Buy one, get one free. Okay. A, he's going um, silo. No, he's not. Is Rops doing is he, it? Is he, is he off screen? Looks like it. Okay, yeah, so there's squid. a chance that... It's a chance to blame if he gets starts having a little wander. Rops might have a little glance. Doesn't look like he's interested, safe. though. He's playing it very safe here. Yeah. Have you ever tried to type like baby on your phone? It autocorrects to Abby and then someone hates you for a couple of days. Abby. Hey, Abby. I try not to call anybody baby at the moment, so. Okay. I've been, I've been really enjoying the German chats. It, yep. means, it means sweetheart, but in like it's in German, it's less patronizing than the British oh, sweetheart. Nice. Why sweetheart? All right, sweetheart. Why darling? All right, darling. Oh, give us a yes, smile. Calling, give us a smile, darling. Hey. It does fall into the pet names though, so it's like like don't not actual pets, but like in terms. Yeah. So like there was what are the other German ones? Is like Hase is one of them that they use. Mm. 
Mm. Um, there's some really trash tier ones that I've learned over the years. <laughs> some trash tier. Trash tier. I love the judgment. Oh. I'm Tre all... What's treasure? Treasure is, um, no, I don't know. There's I think shots might be part of that. Could be. I know that treasure in Dutch is something. Leaf, leafert. I'm gonna Google these right now. <laughs> anyway, the guns are out, the org on Oboe. So that's one way they could deal with the ramp presence. Not as potent as an AWP, but means that he can take that duel a little bit more offensively. I'm trying to use that one more than aggressively, so I'm trying to get that one in the vocab. Big round, smokes down, and already we do see the lobby lurk for Bemis and Rops. Maybe they have a little ramp prop to this attack. Unloading a full mag there, blame down to zero. Ops for the reload, that's when Frozen hops to press the W. Safe, completely unscathed, he descends. He's the only one, though. They park Carrigan on red, very blame F-esque. And this is a hard duel for Ops to win, oh. Ooh, especially against an org. Interesting. So where's that bomb? Just, just for clarification's sake, Chris J's got it in towards the lobby. So there's either a vent or a top site here to depend, perhaps even hinging on what Rops finds here. Oh, I'm so scared for Oboe because we saw what happened when he was pressured. He's doing fine so far. Oh. Oh, and that's, that's, a, that's, what they that's wanted. an unfortunate one. But yeah, that's exactly what they wanted. Frozen now begins the role and it's going to leave a lot to be desired for Config. But while this begins, we have the pressure now coming through towards Upper Rush. So much to handle, so little time and availability to do it. Good calling. This is cool. Good counter. Carrigan set him up for the frag and this one's already done. They really did not let complexity get comfortable at any point by getting frozen down early. Carrigan waiting on red. You can pinch the top site if they find the frag. Rops by finding the frag on Oboe gets them just a little bit more paranoid. Config has to plant his feet, especially when frozen contact arrives. And then into the top site with some flashes into the CT vent. You really aren't going to get a triple kill if you rush. Lovely. Cool. Enjoyed that. Six to four. Is that Alex's leg? Yeah, I'm was, slapping my leg. I, was, I thought it was behind the set. I was Did like, you hear what it? The Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, where the hell is that coming from? Um, so we've got some more for you here, Alex. What? Schnooky. Oh, yeah. No. I don't like that one. That's one no, of them. We're not allowed to say Snooky. Uh, Liebling is like darling. <laughs> Liebling. Liebling, like favorite, I think. Yeah, but that's a little bit, it's almost like a Zergling. Yeah, that's it, what it I makes me think about. Like... Liebling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Schatz is, is treasure. Yeah. Shats is treasure, okay. It's cute, but it does make me think you're saying shat. <laughs> yeah, yeah look, it is shat. Yeah. Also, <laughs> yes. how come Henry gets Hank and I get Chadney? I sound like some nerd in the bloody library with glasses. Happy birthday. Henry... I see an 18-year-old birthday, Baloo. Oh, happy birthday. You have a lovely day. Yeah. Because Chadney has a really sad day. <laughs> Sorry, Chank. Oh, dear. Okay, just stick with Chadney. All right, it's the save rivals coming on through, and Blame F's already taken a chunk of damage. Gets the dink. Ons are frozen. That's hysteria. It's the studio now. Thank you, B. All right, so they're doing a bit of a ramp Sorry, stack Chad. to try and deal with this pressure that Oboe's been feeling. That was how they kicked off the game. Two fast ramp rounds. One on the pistol, one on the anti-economical. And now they've kind of steered clear, at least in terms of the pace, but they've still been bullying and pressuring that side of the map. So they postured. They do now the secret wall of smokes towards Yard will be BMAS with Carrigan working Yard. Frozen's actually picked up the AWP because of that early damage that was put down range by Blame F with the silo jewel. This one's not done and dusted just yet, even though the pistol's over out. Never mind, oh, it is done and dusted. Carrigan's taken out config. That's one of the rifles on the floor with 50 seconds remaining. Yes, but Lauren, mm -hmm. uh, you and I both know that this round is different. Different. Yeah, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay. It's because of Blame F. Now, what Blame F did was, oh, he was boosted around. Yeah. Sell it. Try, come Try. on. Come now, on. So what come Rush on. did a sick oh. little one star, and then Carrigan killed him. But that wasn't the problem because, that wasn't where the main like, as I mentioned, of course, it was Blame yeah, F that F. really saved the day because as Poison baited mm. him up the ladder. I see. This is such a save. <laughs> <laughs> Is this four in a row now? One of those days, guys, I'm going to go for the... I, you know, I do one a week or something. Yeah. Just one of those days, it's going to pay off. And I'll predict a clutch. Galaxy Brain. Four, four in a row, Lauren, just, just so you're there. And uh, in those four rounds in a row, someone has saved from complexity. It's been Blame for the majority of that. Poison's going to give it his crack. And that's why Blame's only died four times, guys. So if you want your stats to look better... And you want to have more potent buys? Save, yeah. That was something I was very bad at as an in-game leader. I was always dead. Like always. Occasionally I get a kill. Most of the time I was dead.
just like poison. So seven to four. Mouse Ward's really punishing this nuke now, which was one of the mainstays of complexity. And I think what we could do is take from what Carrigan was saying within his interview with us to kick off the day, whereas, you know, they were at the top for a while, everybody's looking at what they were doing, and then they had a couple of rough months. Well, if it's, it's the same stale approach or you're not being able to innovate that much, then you're going to find yourself in a bit of trouble. And I actually think that teams, especially with all the Counter-Strike that we're having at the moment, with all these online events back to back to back to back, basically from now until the end of the year, that instead of changing players, you could just change positions. And yeah, I know that okay. seems like it, it's something that's quite difficult to do. And it's very easy for me behind the analyst chair, not having to play every day to say that because you have specialists in positions. But if you're finding it getting stale, you know, swap a couple of positions around on that CT side. You know, I'm not saying take the AWP out of Poison's hands. I'm just saying, you know, okay, yeah, well, maybe whack config over towards ramp, put over towards the top site. Just mix it up a little bit so that things feel and fresh anything, and different. If, if anything, it also raises your awareness of, of what your teammates are doing when you're back into your default yep. role. Yeah, precisely. And I love that. You know, like, for, yeah, no, Alex, we'll just keep the World of Warcraft talk away. But knowing what the other classes are doing helps you react accordingly. Lame has had a quick look, secret, quite a quick look, but... Already pivoting back, Kerrigan caught with some stray bullets through the smoke. And from behind, Beamer strikes. He looks for a second config. Poised and ready this time on the top side. He's got Rush to support him, has his heart. That smoke is suspicious. Oh, and he gets wow. both of them just through the gap. The scope from the AWP was enough of a cue for him to start spraying down. This is config's round, three kills already. They've gone with that bailout to help help ramp as well. You can see Poison's actually over there with the AWP. Probably won't come into play this round because Config wants to do it all. One more for the ace. Just casual for Config, isn't it? Frozen, pretty aware of where he is now, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do much with this. Config is about half HP now. He's frozen, slips away. Bomb truly in Config's hands. I'd love to see him get the ace here. He's, he's been a certain presence on this half. 15 kills already. Yeah, and this looks like it could very well be the 16th. Nice. An ace. Aww. Headshot exchange, frozen, lucky to be alive, and finished off by Blame. So this T side posting. With seven already, this was an important one. And you can see how Config managed to do it. Look at this gap. It must have been such a small angle. And there's number four. Good control of the M4. But just at a timeout stage, it seems like Carrigan wasn't happy with conceding that. Didn't like what happened towards the, the squeaky door, and so a timeout called. Yeah, and right now they have the $1,400 loss bonus coming into this round, so their buy might be a little bit sketchy. That was a four-round uh, spree. When I say streak, that would have also worked. Interchangeable, really. A stree? Stree. Streak and free. Nah. No. It's all. It's not. Nah. 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 Yeah, nah. Anyway, the guns are out. The money is not a problem on the mouse side of things whatever, whatsoever. Uh, five AK 47s. No AWP for Carrigan this time round. Has been chopping and changing with it. Makes me a little bit harder to predict and especially their flow of the game. Carrigan has a decoy. I wonder if he's going to throw that one away. Okay. So he's actually thrown that towards the top side. It's going to break through the windows and make the sound cues harder for Complexity to know what's going on. Also acts as a bit of a deterrent in the early stages. If they see a nade flying through the windows, glass breaking, they think it might be a top rush, forcing them to dump a little bit more utility early. You can see right now, Complexity don't have a lot of nades to work with. What a shot. But that's what we're talking about from Poison. Lovely. Now the Carrigan smokes and flashes are coming out. Config safe though, tucked in on T-Vent. Ramp's clear. What? They've just Sorry, walked in. Has he adjusted to he's up he's heaven right now. back quicker? But yeah, this is diff. Wow. Okay, he's way out of spot on this. So let's see what Poison can do. Quick as lightning on the first. He needs more, though. Takes the shot, gives away a little bit of position, but now has to fall away. The molly burns. But the T's have some good control. Config's already down here. Good shot. There's Poison again. That's two. Oh! Come on, Poison. Let's go. That's three massive kills. This round would be almost over, it'd feel like, if the T's got away with that. Look at Config's Look at position. Config. In the smoke, it's Obo to find Bmas. Chris J showed him what he can do, though. This is all orbs for the T side. <laughs> what a round this is. It's time for an orb death match. Chris J flying up the ladder. Has the bomb. This is doable now. Sick. Obo elephant footing his way up the vent. Avoids the flash. Chris J wants to hunt him He's down. He's going to bang him. He's going to bang him out. Oh, no, Scobie oh. gets it, but it's enough of a distraction. Oh. <laughs> 
they may have put him to bed. What a play. That whole game, that whole round. Poison on the orb, Chris with some plays. Config ratting around the smoke. Everyone's bringing their A game. Six to seven though, complexity saved by Blame F. Money's not great on the complexity side of things, so saving that AWP to give back to Poison is huge. The money's actually looking a little bit nicer for Mouse Sports. The plant helps a lot. That was a big shot. He had to hit that. You see Config, I'm not sure if he was panicking through the smoke or what, but he did great to find the first. Chris J with the window of time and Blame with the well executed trade. Now, making the best out of a bad situation there. Chris can't be too disappointed with how that one unfolded. Plant, two frags, a lot of damage done to the economy, and you can see that here. Yeah, man. Mammoth's coming out. Lots of outside smokes fast. And Carrigan making sure he's loud as hell. And goes down with the ship. So he really wanted to sell that. Oh, needs help. Yeah, and fast, because he's got a lot of company. Chris J will take his head off. There's no one on the B site. Molly's to stop the rotate. Vents is an option. Config's used it. And Poison's lost his head. Rops does manage to butcher one of them. Four on three as Config gets ahead of the Molly. Needs to frag here. It's Rops that will be likely, but by Bimas waiting and biding his time. Holds the close line. Now it does look like a save. Rush has got no options and neither is Blame. So great calling from Carrigan. You can see the intentions there, Chad. Just quick outside smokes with steps. Blame's calling for help. Everyone's poised on top site. One frag and that's it. That's the round. Yeah, I think right there, Config... That little tick of the Molotov was heard, and Vmas was set up ready for that push through. As soon as he takes down Config, the danger man, someone who was able to unravel that lower control out of the equation, and Oboe continuing to be punished on that side of the map. You've already seen them put the AWP over there. You've seen him play towards main. You've seen him play towards top site. But this is something that teams have clearly identified. They can just bully their way through with their young aim stars and individuals. And that round was no exception. The opening kill went in the favor of Complexity there, and they lose the round in a 4v2 fashion with the two saved rifles and the much needed save. It was like selfless IGLs on the T side and Nuke could just kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, Crystal does it. You know, we obviously have Blame F, but he does it in a different fashion. Nice. He'll get the control and then play for the clutch. Um, but there are a lot of in game leaders who are taking that space. And. The reason, you know, a lot of people might be curious, why not put somebody down there who could be more mechanically sound? Well, once you have the information and you work out the rotate, you're the one watching the lion's share of the demos. You probably have a good idea of what setup or, or what positions are weaker. But we get back underway for round 15. Scout out in Poison's hands. Secret smokes have landed. Oh, no. Deeper smokes. They got some jewels. Blame, Blame was out in the open. He's, he's, he's got to be cautious about this one. He's now in a bit of bother as Bimus. Yeah, that, he couldn't escape from that. The smokes kind of kept a gap there that was operational for the T's. Advantage early falling to their favor. And now it looks like Rops is so up oh. to this fight and you can see why. The man is clean. Trade comes out for Config right back in this, but he's still on the advantage until Obo just trading out. This is a back and forth round. So, so brutal. Wow. Difficult duel for Config to win there. Did a lot of damage, but Beamass puts him down. And now it's just poison in a one on three. He was going up the ladder. Picked the wrong bomb site, my friend. And now he has to come down ramp through the Megaton position. Best of luck. Yeah. Oof. No fun for anyone. Now, do you like that? That will force Carrigan into a fight, but he swings into the boxes in time. You must bait it in. Good jiggle. Survives for the next duel. Chris J gives it to him, and it is eventually Carrigan that pulls it across the line. We have a 9 6 half, folks, and this is just getting warmed up. Complexity Mouse is back after the break.
to nine. Everyone loves it. Pansy and Sponge, myself, Machine, we're ready to get back into the first game of the day, and it is one that is quite a delectable Counter-Strike treat. Certainly already salivating at the prospect of a Blame F led T side and Carrigan, the one coordinating his CT pieces around this virtual chessboard. Sponge, expectations, we're gonna have a, a little fast pistol here, a single flashbang, that's not gonna get you far. The two P250s in the hands of Poison Ooh. and Codfig might be, so Blame F equipping some big boys with some big guns, and well, straight into yard they go. Poison immediately railed. Yeah, oh. and that's a lot of info for Chris. He did one flash. some pot shots and the flashbang does obscure his vision. You're right, Lauren. Already going down secret though. They're making no secret of this. And Bemis and Robs are there to try oh. and pop some heads. And they're doing exactly that. Wow, Bemis has got two in quick succession. Poison wants the P250 and an escape. But the bomb's in CT hands now. Blame lurking, who would have thunk? Wild scenes, but maybe he can be integral to this. Poison's not being too shy. He's still showing a little, but trying to keep a lot. Buying time, potentially, for Blame to get to a position to do something about this to alleviate some of that ever-mounting pressure. Again, more steps made by Poison to keep their attention turned. Blame F gonna focus towards BMS to start with. Poison's helped him. Poison, again, though, has to do more. Can't achieve it as Blame F now. Oh, element of surprise, to... maybe. Maybe. Oh, the step. Okay, double peek. Hard <gasps> shots. Hits the first tiny tip of the head. The receding hairline of Chris J's CT model. 40 seconds, bomb retrieve, no armor. Oh, Chris is pushing. Oh, he's actually tried to run away. Wow. The Dutchman holds his nerve and bangs him out from behind. 10 to 6. Mouse boards find double digits. Bit of a brain fade there from Blame, I think. Once you see him there in the vent, that there's no getting away. There's no running. This here was always going to be a fight, like back turned. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I think, yeah, he's just miscalculated the scenario and that's a big round to lose and a big round to win for Mouse Sports, considering how that one kicked on off. Rosen was flatlined in yard and it will be the force by, of course, of course. Complexity are the series favorites, as you can see there with the GG.bet odds. But so far in map number one, looks like Mouse Sports could be stealing this map away, taking us the full distance today with Mirage coming up next and Dust 2 potentially as the third. This has been the only weakness we've seen from Cole. And even then, it's debatable if it's really a weakness, but it's one of the only maps they've dropped, even though they win the entire series out regardless. But we'll see if this changes on the T side. It's only the first round. Obviously, double digits again. She never feels good, but Poison trying to make a difference. Unable to achieve much towards Frozen. That's okay. not bad at all, though, is it? Poison going to keep presence noted now. All right, so Chris is actually trying to take some space here. Rush see the arm. He's playing very tentatively right there. You can see how passive of a line he's holding. Now we're seeing Yard Smoke's getting lined up. Obo coming on through now. It's like, I don't know the other smoke, Blame. So Blame's having to go back and uh, throw the other one. Probably legitimately what happened there, ladies and gentlemen. And there they have it. Smokes fly out. No one on Mouseport's side able to transfer information other than the no sound cues for Carrigan. What's good about this wall of smokes here, Alex, is because it normally gets played through into warehouse, their ladder player has to be on high alert as well, as well as Rops over towards ramp needs to worry about a flank at some point. With only 30 seconds left, it's not the biggest worry, but it always has to be in the back of the mind. Here they go, into the top site. Bemis a lot to do, finds the first. And a second as there's well. The trade. Yeah, there's no one. Little bit scattered now. Finally, Config does knock him down, but Rox has turned up into the side Carrigan as well. The Famas are doing it all. Two HP to spare. The Danish in-game leader converts the 11th round. Yeah, Nuke's definitely being uh, a strong start for them into the second half. And let's not forget converting that pistol. But this is Poison just doing it. I mean, you can see the game plan, couldn't you, from complexity. Go outside get a frag, do outside smokes, force Carrigan outside. It was all onto Bemis, but the fact that he got the double. That was just bad work on them on the top side. Like Rush should obviously push in to clear the site, but he had nobody there with the ability to trade. So that was a not the ideal approach from complexity by any means. And now they're just going to be forced down to a save round. There will be upgrades of Deagles for a couple of members on the squad. The match is paused. So normally indicative right now of a technical timeout, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully this one will be back underway. As you can see the round reload coming through. I don't think what I want to have for dinner tonight. Well, your options. I don't know. Cologne's my oyster. Cologne is your oyster. I really want a burrito again soon. 
Mm, we could I do a burrito it. in sunshine if you're interested. Oh, I also like sitting in my dark I cave know, and being I sad. I know, You can do the cave sadness. That's fine. I like my video games. Yeah. I, 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 I had I, McDonald's last night. Treated myself. Yeah. Big stretch. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but it was food. So that was uh, always positive. Five deagles. The desert eagle. What kind of round does it fire, Lauren? Uh, depends. A 50 caliber round? Uh, 50 ACP. 50 oh, ACP. Yeah, Little you can get a few different wizards. varieties. Um, you know. So I can't say 50 caliber. I thought it was a 50 cal pistol. It can be. Just stay away okay, from all that stuff. The yeah, but it's 50 pistols. cal sounds so hype, dude, but I'm saying 50 caliber round lodged in his windpipe. Yeah. You know? It could be. Sounds gross, but it's like... Yeah, that's the blood coming out of my windpipe. Yeah, and I, think I, I, was, really. I understood the visual picture you were painting there, Chadney. Uh, Jank. I've... <laughs> Uh, Rosen's yeah. got the angle though, so I'm not really concerned and I don't plan to raise my voice because it should just be one after the other. A little blender of a crossfire going on here. Everybody getting a taste. Give Chris J the last, we'll have the team ace. Seven times five. five Three thousand five hundred, is it? Okay. Don't look at me. Well, I'm just asking, I'm just, I want to kind of, you know, start having numbers for when everyone does a deco, how much have they actually invested? You know, hmm. $700 per person. Does it show you on this? You yeah, you it does. Value. Oh, but I guess that's everything. But just set, on, like, when it was just yeah. deagles, it's just 700 times five, seven times five, man. Oh, it's AE. Yeah, not ACP. Excuse me. Oh, you. Oh, okay. Well, guns are out. Do you know Thank what guns goodness. they are? AK-47. Uh, uh, that's, that's the M4 uh, PCP. And there's uh, the... Uh, it's it's, it's Le Pour round. Is it well, Le Carrigan, Le Pour? Bemass, and Robs all have the Clarion, so... Ah, uh, yes, the Clarion. That was that was the name of it in the point six. Now the old bullpup, right? Uh, they're in trouble. No, the Famous. Anyway. It, it, oh, my God, they're so surprised. <laughs> Element of surprise from Rush. Frozen's low, finished off by Config in the round. Feels a whole lot different now for Mouse. Carrigan does catch Config's hunt. A man's to retreat as well. So he's done such good work there by not letting them have that numbers advantage and letting the round fall silent. Blame's taking a lot of space here on the T side. He's under into that low side. Doesn't have the bomb. Bomb on the back of Poison in lobby. So Karakin's doing a lot right now. Beamer's with him. He's calling and coordinating this. The Puppet Master has pulled the strings into a favorable situation at this point. And if they find him, nice angle held by Poison. Bomb was spotted though. Karakin will communicate that. The bomb is Yard. What do you do with that information, BMAS? What do you do? Top site's his responsibility as well. He knows the poison can cross to secret unguarded at the moment. He's throwing out util rops responsible for the lower site. Well, if poison goes down and drops the bomb here, AK can be picked up for BMAS. So this could be a problem. He needs to be very careful and wait for his two heaven players. They can actually smoke off towards squeaky door. That would help him out a lot. Oh, poison. Good damage, Del. That's BMAS. Does he dare to go back for this? He's. He's trying to stay in this, but... Here comes the smoke. HP so low. Smoke, Molly. He's kind of shut down here. What do you do with this? Well, He's going to forward. He's managed to sneak out. Nice. Rops is flanking heaven as well. Bomb has been planted. How far... Uh, much, how much progress has he made? Not enough. Blames caught him. You know, it gets a bit more difficult now for Bemis, and he will just recede. I would like Bimus to hang around and do as much damage as he can. Take a look at the money right now on the mouse sports side of things. With the loss bonus coming through, sure, it's not fantastic, but Robs can definitely buy. Bimus will be able to do so as well. And he wants to hold on to that Famous. I'm sure Chris J will be very, very happy to receive a drop in the following. But this will be seven rounds on the board for Complexity now. Scoreline being that of 12 to 7. Potentially a lot of rounds still to be played, but mm. the bonus round, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world to see Mouse Watts drop it. You're not going to sit there and, you know, be too upset with how that one all unfolded. There was some fantastic fast play towards that yard position, as Alex mentioned, catching off some of those Mouse Watts players behind their CT red. I know it's blue, but it's going to be a long time before I can get that one out of my head. Config having a great game right now. 18 kills to his name. Highest in the server. If we just take a look at the rest of the scores on the doors, uh, over there for the... Mouse, what side of things? It's actually Bemis leading the way with 15 kills, but it's quite an even frag spread. We've got 14 on Carrigan, 13 apiece for Chris Jan Rops, and 10 for Frozen. So let's get back underway with round number 20. The guns are out once more. Orp in Chris J's hands. So that's what we were talking about. And Car Rops. Oh, yes, and Rops. Wow. All right, this might be a curious one. The dorping, folks. Always a bit weird on the old CT side of Nuke. Let's see if Configs want to exploit any of those weaknesses. See that? They flashed him off as well. Chris has to acknowledge that there could be someone close, and he's doing exactly that. This is a smart the scope. scoper, but 
this time. Config's got his number. How fast has he arrived there? So smooth in the moves, and then he just gets right up to them. That's such sick play. I wonder if you can get it much further, though. Surely position noted. Blame nice. F there in support, though. As soon as they try and maybe retake that territory pressure back. Nah, not having it. He's got the one way. Uh, Bemis is pushing into the lobby, though. Carrigan catching Obo, trying to keep Mouse Sports competitive into this one. It is still the pressure to plant from Blame F and Co. And now Config's been caught, frozen, rotated back up to the ramp to catch his search. Mouse Sports, this is a three versus five, but Rush has caught Carrigan's hunt. And this is going to be him trying to take control of the top side. Bemis being cheeky, but it's redundant. The bomb's on its way and planted courtesy of Blame F. Frozen, burned off. He's got so much util, but no head. Poison, the one to remove it. Three alive. Bomb plants. And finding him. That's... I, I don't want to get into it yet. We, we believe at double digits, right? In turnarounds. Uh, yeah. We give it a little bit more kind of credit exact at that point. Okay, so two back-to-back -back for complexity. It feels like they've kind of got a little bit of back with them. They've managed to, you know, get themselves back in this. Did obviously help uh, when you have config making mad amounts of space for you. Yeah, I was just looking at that back on Skybox. It's quite the well-timed piece, and they've run similar rounds, at least with yard aggression in that regard, two rounds in a row. So that's what we need to keep in mind for complexity. Remember when we were talking about Mouse Sports and the start of their game on the pistol round and their anti-eco fast over towards ramp, really conditioning that side? Well, complexity have been conditioning yard. Hey, we can come, we can take this, we can fight ladder very quick. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to turtle up more? Are you going to be more in our face? That will make your top site weaker. These are some things that we have to consider as the game trickles on forward. And as we're in round number 21, it is just those USPs. So shouldn't be anything too crazy going on right now. Just want to see if they can keep it clean more than anything. There, There is literally no upgrades. So there's no it's one flash, clean. there's no nothing. Yeah, you like going up just against the USPs. Feels good. Never happens in our pug. Someone always seems to have an AWP when everybody else is on USPs somehow. I'm not saying on our team. I'm or... saying on the enemy. All right, everyone calm down. I'm not pointing fingers. I'm not saying you're wrong either, to be fair. <laughs> Did we check out? We didn't check our report cards because we would have had a few more games. I think there's been a lot of swamp, though, so I'm not sure how I it swamp really... the best map. Here's it's what we should do. Nuts. This is what we should do, right? We should have okay. a swamp show match, but we get, we get the people at home yep. to make a team mm -hmm. and challenge us on swamp. And we have like the three of us plus Rush plus someone else, and we see if we can beat him at Swamp. I don't know. Alex's orping has been pretty dirty on that map. I don't think we can unleash that on the public. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, we get the get the voice comes out. We see if we can be dethroned, and we take a challenge every week. The swamp gang. Yeah, we'll call our team Shrek. <laughs> can I be Fiona? Sure. Are you donkey? Uh. Donkey. I don't know if I'm funny enough to be donkey. Rush should probably be donkey. Yeah. Yeah, we could, we could, we can work that. I'll be the gingerbread man. It's quite cool, yeah. It's a good shout. And as expected, clean as you like. All five stand for the tees. They get the round. Nothing really recovered. Done much for old mouse sports. Um, utility, not much of a bother when you're sitting on six point XK up and above. So reinvestment, perfectly fine. No orbs out. Nothing really beyond the usual. But on the other side, the double orbs are out. And the org as well on Carrigan. So uh, long range jewels on the menu here for mouse sports. Let's see how they want to use these weapons. So no presence over towards Yard within the early stages. That conditioning we were talking about from complexity with the plays over towards top ladder. Maybe we see that once again. They're doing a similar strategy off the bat. A little bit more delayed. Dropping on down. They round the corner. And Chris has already caught himself a lovely little fishy. Carrigan as well. Okay. Well, that one didn't work, did it? Not at all. Flat. Look at the jump peak from Frozen, the little rascal. He's disappeared up. He's got his information for free. Blame F no longer is the secret. Oh, okay. They're on to top side. Bemis could get tested here. Chris J is in support. He has to focus on that squeaky walkout. But Obo, he's already snuck through both of them. He knows he's playing the line of sight well. First foul, Chris trying to find a one. And instead, 3v5. 3v5 starting to manifest. And look where Blame is the whole time. Just has that main control. So they're able to focus on the top side. They're able to worry about that heaven position. No one's going to be able to flank on through. And maybe the save call should be considered from Mouse Sports here. The scoreline. Now we get into the danger zone. The double digits will be put on the board. And the fact that Frozen and Rops haven't moved, their feet are mm. stuck to the ground, tells me that they will be going for the save. They will want to hold these weapons through. 
But the fact that that approach didn't work and they still took so much space means that we do need to see a change up in the approach from the CT side of Mouse. Let's take a look at the loss bonus here with the trickling of rounds coming on through. That's going to be the fourth round in a row posted on the board for complexity. It's a 2,900 loss bonus that will be put in the bank balance of Mouse Sports. Not enough for a buy, but enough to partially invest. So we might see some deagles, maybe a shotgun. This is the opening two kills. So the Orpa grabs one. Carrigan in the crossfire with the second. But still, that space. It was fantastically done by Obo here. And as soon as he takes Chris J out of the equation, the top site is completely theirs. And you can see Chris J there realizing how much territory they did lose, unawares. And we get back underway. So CZ, two Deagles. That'll be the purchases behind the M4 and the saved AWP of Rops and Frozen. AK is still out. No warp in play for that T side. Not necessary. Look at Frozen's position here. Because they know they're going for all this yard control, he's playing a very filthy off angle in CT spawn. But Obo's already dealt with Bemis, and that's one of the pistols taken out of the equation. That's one way to hold heaven. Yeah, it's so, like, Counter-Strike now, if I was playing, I would be so frustrated all the time because I, I, you can tell, by the way, I do my job now. I'm all about broad strokes. So in CS, I was, I, I was the in-game leader who had a gut feeling. Like, I would knew, I knew the pacing we could get away with, but that meant I'd let lazy clear. I wouldn't check corners. Hopefully, Oboe clears this one. Can't let him get away with it, can you? Oh, no. There we go. Oh, Played back the in the poison. There was no vision on this, and he still gets it. And a quick adjustment. Looks like the bomb's heading down towards B for now. Carrigan kind of left. Absolutely nothing to do but die. Blame F again. Always ever present on that lurk. You can almost bank on it. Rops here, they don't know that he's come down through secret, so he might be able to grab a frag. You can see Poison just looking now. There is a window for Rops. Oh, thinking about the save here. He needs to get out. But he's locked in, so above him will be Blame. Blame's not going to let him get away with his orb. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh. Oh, Rops, he gets a shot at it to stay alive. Tries to bait in some shots, see what he can do. But no, Rops is going to try and desperately hold on to this. They should hunt him now. Look at the money. They're closing in. Rush is going for it as well. But Rops is well and truly aware. Flash causes a turn. In we go. Himself up. Almost had the individual fight then. Config does take it away. Frozen should live to fight. And Blame F and Config still stand. All recovered too. Well, I didn't quite save the AWP, and that was the only real benefit of the, the fight he was having there. This was Blame really going to catch Carrigan off guard with that one. Refire from Config. So double digits is usually when we start starting to paint the picture that this complexity T side has definitely still got some more legs to it. We've only seen the first three of this half going the way of the CT back into the double orbs. We know how they can be exploited. Let's see if a fast hit with that MAC-10 from Oboe is coming. He's got the bomb on his back. Bloody hell, they're going top straight top site. There's potential for double orbs, and now Carrigan has done enough, at least initially, to slow them down. We see Bemis trying to get back into the site. They get the rotate. Bemis gets the frag. This pace change has fallen flat. All these yard attacks, it hasn't changed the approach of mouse sports yet. They've still been opting for these double ops. They're very clear on the game plan that they want to run with. They've blamed to get back in this with poison. Down the vent is the option. Leg shot coming through. That's unconfirmed damage because Chris was flashed. With a boost team to clear out on top of ladder. It's a whole lot of information found, even though there's no one there. Focus now towards Chris J. Still plenty more to do. No poison. Oh my god. Okay. This becomes a round at this point. 50 seconds left. They're back in lobby. The bomb is down. But they can isolate some fights. And never mind. Rops has taken Blame F out. Poison has got low HP. Eight grand in the bank. Hoping someone walks into his aim. He actually Hello. finds Rops. And the swing was there. My goodness. He nearly made a round out of it. Love a freebie like that for sure. Yeah. Bemis hasn't salvaged the secondary orb. So I'm not sure if they want to run that same setup once more. So a nice little boost. Just a mid-round maneuver. You'd have as many of those little tricks up your sleeve as you can. And this was how we knew that the round was basically done and dusted. Rops there onto Blame. So I don't know if we'll see them go for the hard top again. Probably wouldn't be the right players. 13 to 11 is now the scoreline for Mouse Sports on the CT side. Round number 25. 
It's underway with the standard yard smokes. Frozen pushed forward. Has to deal with quite a few angry complexity players. We've seen this from Frozen before. I don't know if we have. Obviously, blame F. Synonymous with being out here, being a presence, but this timing good. could be excellent. Blame it feels the pressure, but he still gets the frag. Frozen still lives, and suddenly things get a little bit dicey, but the trade comes in for Obo. Oh, Obo's oh, isolated. Another one. Carrigan being hunted by Config. Actually, up the vents, it's Beamer, so we'll see it. Oh, that's going to be indicative of a potential top site hit. Obo and Poison. He has oh. Korops again. Poison always finds them a way back in. Poor old Bemis has got a lot to do here. And Poison is going to be potentially threatening him heaven. So this is a perfect crossfire, but not when Obo gets caught. Bemis beaming. Oh, the timing on this. Poison not ready for it. Carrying it's a freebie. Yeah, the low HP. Bemis will finish him off. No dramas whatsoever. Round 14, mouse sports. Okay, well, danger signs here for complexity. The money, oof, it's not great. Obo can drop. They should be able to muster something up, but this timing, just as Blame F has looked, Frozen has limped through the smoke. Obo does get the trade. Config trying to exploit a gap up the vent there. And that was one of the final frags that I think signed the deal for Mouse Sports locking in their 14th round. Back we go, the guns are out. Galil for config. Frozen with a deep flash, has been able to tuck himself across to the warehouse position. To clear that, they will need a good flash. 22 kills for config at this point. What can Complexity do to get back in this? It feels like they've been stalled out since that yard approach. Top site rush didn't work. Frozen did a good job weaseling around the smokes in the previous. So they're lining up the standard secret smokes here. Oh, it's their, their deeper triple wall. We don't have a name for this one. <laughs> we've got the L block. We've got the A map smokes, like all the ones as they go around towards top ladder. The standard ones for secret. And oh, Frozen getting caught off by Config. Yeah, Config from up above just gets to see a little bit more. Blame F is going to start strolling now. Heads himself down to secret. Nice high flash. There goes Config. The timing again, quite nice. Chris J tagged up. A little blind. And Obo's found Bemus. That's game on. He's been a big game factor for Mouse Sports in the last couple of rounds. And without him, suddenly things looking a little worse for wear. Config did make a sound. So Robs has had to reposition to deal with it. Still could get caught out, though. Absolutely. Is he thinking about doing the one way? That would be really gooky. Obo catching another, though. This round is just getting pulled from Mouse one frag at a time. They can go anywhere they want. Confort clears it up nice and neat. Good round. Complexity definitely not out of this one yet. Let's not forget that they've already managed to post 60 rounds over the course of this uh, second half. That one there, you can see what Frozen's trying to do when he sees that wall of smoke, trying to get up close and personal with it, see if he can isolate a gap or a hole or find another timing to push through like he did in the previous. But whittled down one at a time, I think that's a perfect way of looking at that round. So there's a couple of little cool details that came out from Complexity to aid them in that. And well, that's forced Mouse Sports down to the pistols. And we've been talking about the economy getting broken late on the CT side. Well, it's not broken, but it's definitely needing of a bandage right now as they have to take a save. Just the scout for Chris J, Deagle in the hands of Rops and BMAS. USPs for Carrigan and Frozen and hmm. HE. So if it is a top play, they will be trying to nade that hut or the bomb plant position to give themselves an avenue to skirmish. But realistically, if Complexity play this one by the book, they should be finding themselves round 27, putting 13 on the board and making this one as close as you like. Stack towards the top side is coming in now. Christian actually being extremely mobile with the scout. Very proficient scout player. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, yeah. Rush, that's why we get excited. We see Chris J with a scout. It's like a weirdly good signal in a way. I wonder if he can do any more though. Surely that's that's enough, but the nade could do well. Ah, oh, doesn't quite find the target. It's problems now that they have lost the player and 40 seconds left. They're starting to run. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. 
Ah, those chances are they're, they're fine margins. And sometimes you find them, sometimes the timing's there, sometimes it's not. Chris J has adjusted well, 30 seconds. But, uh, Confit? One. Oh my god, he got a tag too. Ah, there is a Deagle on Bemis. Maybe they yeah, could still find place. a bit of damage. But yeah, it felt like they already felt like they were out of that. And look Blame at Blame. Blame. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. This is what happens when things are going right. Catches you every single time. Little lurky boy. Lurky boy blame, but modern day lurking. Modern day lurking. Modern day lurky boy blame. <laughs> this isn't the lurking of old where you sit long doors where your team goes B. This Happy? is this is a different <laughs> breed. Right? Yeah. The coolest thing with with Happy was he could have legitimately made strategies because everybody thought that he was lurking. So just make a strategy where you go in first and die, and then four people appear behind you. They'll be like, but he never did it. I know. So what are you doing, dude? <laughs> anyway. Mind playing games. Valorant now, so... Maybe he can get his wizards and pixie spells working for him. It's not so far, let me tell you that. Okay. Yikes. Resistance is exciting, though. Oh, that gap could be the undoing of Rush here if he's not careful. Just to keep his toes safe. Keep the water bottle on to make sure they're warm. And Rush celebrates our observer. Rush celebrates every time he gets to observe Rush death because he considers himself the supreme Rush. Oh, really? <laughs> Feels like it validates his story. Rush, is this true? Can you believe that Will guy has the at Rush on Twitter yeah. and his last name isn't even Rush? I mean, well, I feel like- Alexander Rush. Am exactly. I, I, have a, I have a rightful, you know- uh, Claim, claim, to, the claim to the to that name. Yeah, Game so. of Thrones, e uh -huh, oh, it's ESLCS, yes, baby. I'm going to message Twitter and see what they say. Yeah, I think <laughs> we, we'll get Will <laughs> Rizzi-Rizzi-Rizzi. Well, how, how do you say a second name? I don't know. There's like Zebra. Where's Zebra? It ain't Rush, that's for that's sure. For, <laughs> thank you, Rush Lee. Love it's you. Not salty. Gaming. It's happening. And Bemis is the first casualty. Poison into the top side. Kerrigan, what can you possibly do, Chris? Hoping to find an orb support, but Hobo not deterred by the flashbangs. Frozen's got to go up this ladder into Poison's line of sight. A fast jump bounces head off the top. Or Chris, Jay will find a way in. Okay, 4v2 though. And they know where Chris is. Ouch, Config definitely looking sharp today. His blade is absolutely pinpoint precise. So we've got a 14-14 here. Mouse Sports, let's not forget, they had a great showing on their T side and Complexity are doing it right back to them. Chad, can we have a little CT economy check-in? Loss bonus of 3,400. Ooh, 14-14. I'm sorry, Alex. I really want to be helping you right now. I'm just recording the Skybox for the post-game segment. Oh, you do that? Yeah, multitasking is well, not I'll, my I'll try forte. and I'm spending a lot of time with you. So what Chad would have said is he'd okay. gone. Okay, well, this is a tough one. They're going to have to pick their poison here. Uh, 3,400 It's not nice, but with Frozen saved them four, he nice. can drop across a fam ass. So we will see probably at least a force by potential for them to avoid that overtime. Chad here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, Nadine here. <laughs> You've got your shuttle times for Katowice. There will be a little bit of a delay. And Chad Birchall's not right here. Sorry, Chad. Ah, uh, yikes. They brought down to 2K, Chad. It's okay. okay. They're playing for overtime, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Foul sports. They have to get it done with the saved rifle and a little bit of light utility and some deagles. I mean, this is a Chris J full buy from last That's year. True. So. That is true. It's fine, we've got a fully bought up Dutchman. As volatile as he is, stylish. This would be a rough one for complexity to drop, considering how many tense games they've had. On this is, this should be a lock-in. This should be a complexity round. What a comeback it's been. Just to quickly reiterate, that is now six, seven, eight T rounds posted. So they have kept on par with that of Mouse. Now for the, the extra sprinkles. Lines it up. Oh, okay, I see. So you put the jibbly with the wibbly and then crouch. And press the wobbly and away you go. Uh, okay, simple as that, really. Quick take, four of them in yard. Right. Long range fights. The Frozen's perhaps there. That's the first casualty. Chris J will lose out. Carrigan's only got a CZ, although it's stylish. I don't know if he's ready for config. He's a prominent beast and he has felled him. That's a big frag to find, and a weapon, no less, as well. That's sick. That support's now frozen. Two rifles now fall to hand. Poison, right oh. place, but the angle is going to defend. Oh, oh, my God. Gonna... Mef, as if you're considering that, like, these players are just, like, next level. If you get shot in the side it's, by it's Blame. Do. Blame's, Blame's worked this out. This oh. guy is an absolute 10 head. Ovo, maybe not so much. Blame F. Wasn't actually going to check that far, but he was being precautious. Still dangerous. Very There's dangerous. Threat with these two players down here, seeing them both. 
Flame F always delivering for 10 seconds. Kerrigan's down. Things got a little bit nerve-wracking. Okay, right. Well, they saved for this round. They better make it count. Overtime is the only option for survival and conversion for mouse spots. On their map pick, they thought they could punish. Flame and Config have been making sure that it's not quite as punishing as it could have been. Good save. Good double kill. And Rush just having a quick reaction shot on that fence push. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a little Australian sneaking out of there. Yeah, good day. But Poison's going for a quick squeaky peek. Otherwise known as a squeak. Could be a different look from Complexity here on the last round. Throw a spanner in the works, as it were, for mouse spots. They've been dealing with a lot of these yard plays. I'm actually kind of grateful that their money didn't let them go double AWP into this one. We're going to be seeing the full four rifles. Chris J, the one on the second there, or the primary AWP, excuse me. This Outside is, smoke's coming in. Yeah, this is the ones that baited Frozen into pushing forward last time and he got taken out of the equation by Config top of Silo. He's thinking better of it this time round. You can see that he's just staying back towards deep garage. Config will get control. Smoke towards main lining up. The, the routes they play on these flight paths, as you say, the differences are minute. They're minuscule. Just a couple of pixels here and there. And here goes Config. We've seen the speed of it before, but Chris J is also... Eyes on Rops. Lot to do, off angle. Obo found, really precise aim from Rops, and it's only gonna be the one, so this game carries on. Frozen does deal with blame, and by taking him down, you see that? Ninth out, he knows there's no one else alongside with for the ride, and two frags away from the overtime here on our first map of the day. It's already delivering, getting our dosage of adrenaline and entertainment. Rush is planting though, he's interested in making this one go a little longer, it's a safe plan from the door. Maybe there's a... There's a universe. No one from ramp. No one ramp, yeah. I, they're all here. Oh, that's hard, uh, the movement. And Poison's missed his shot as well. Looks very much like those two fabled letters. And there they are, OT secured. Mouseports, the gamble pays off. We're gonna take a quick break, ladies and gentlemen, preparing for the very same overtime, MR3, 16K. See you in two.
We're back live in this one, and bear in mind, Complexity's T side looked pretty solid, if I'm honest. It felt like it got a little worked out, Config unable to get away with the mischief that he was running with, but let's see how deep they can go, because Mouseports, the money dwindled, as did the rounds, but they're back in the cash and we're in OT, Chad. And it's quite clear what type of buy they're looking for, Lauren. Again, when the dollars are looking good, it's the org for Carrigan, the two AWPs, one in the hands of Chris J and the other for Rop. So let's get this one underway. Round number one of overtime. And, uh, well, Chris J, uh, that's a curious way to take Config out of the round, isn't it? We'll take that. We'll take that any day of the week. Poor old Config's been having a bit of a time now. He was getting away with absolute murder before, but it's not over just yet. Tease can reassemble. Still plenty to play with. One smoke on Rush, but the intentions will have to be changed. There's a smoke towards Dork. Props is already orping lower right now, so if we do end up having a ramp hit, keep that in mind. But it looks like they're posturing for a top play. You can see here Rush still tucked in towards Squeaky, Erbo watching Hut. Grenades can be lined on up. There's a minute left on the clock. Going to be a very difficult approach here. Yeah, this isn't the fun. And they're in. Flashes. Carrigan throws out one of his own, trades in the first, there's a second, that's poison all three. Carrigan close quarters with the AUG. Oh baby, 16, Mass Mouse Sports starting off with a bang, top side hit red. Ooh, uh, I don't know if Frozen meant to pick up a third orb there, it's not that it really matters because overtime and they will be out of buy, but just curious to see if that was intentional, that's, uh, yeah, quite the opening right there. So Chris J getting very fortunate with his timing on the Mouse won there and he even finishes things off. So the two veterans of the mouse. I mean, for squad. an angle like that, he is just hoping to click on the flash. That's yeah. just be a timing, right? Yeah. It's such a quick cross. Wow. Okay. Well, that's one way to get the party started for mouse sports. CT side. You only get three ch chances to post. So make them count. Chris has. Notice how they've changed their yard hold, though. Oh, see? Yeah, it is. Yeah, pick it up the pace. Yeah, straight through Carrigan. This time can't control it. b still alive and kicking. Was Flash comes out. Does get Oboe. Overwhelmed in the end, but Chris J. Rock. Chris J? Okay. Oh, my word. A little overzealous, potentially, but Rock's fancies it oh. as well. peek <laughs> What is this? Hello, hello. Peace. What is going on here? Yeah, I'm not sure if there's much left for Frozen. If there was damage, which there is onto Rush, a nade would have been viable, but the trajectory just doesn't check out. Damage isn't even the name of the game here, so hang around, see if you can get a foot in the door with this clutch. Nobody picking. Very good discipline from Complexity. Nade comes out, position's given up. He's got a good idea where all of the mile config's not giving him the uh, the right eye peak. Here comes Rush, the hunt. Oh, nice swing. Absolutely nothing. Four, Four for kills Rush. out of that round there. Rush into the top site. Oof. Yeah, boys, it wasn't no problem. Easy peasy, you know. Uh, you know. Uh, pretty nice. this Rush guy. Let's yeah. watch the highlights here from Rush. Uh, so I thought, you know, I knew where this guy was coming down. And I thought, Christian, what the hell are you doing there, you know? And then I saw this guy come up and I was like, yeah, dead too. And I knew where the last guy was. So it's pretty easy close out, you know? Dude, yeah, I mean, respect. Respect yeah. for doing two things at once as well. I didn't know you could multitask. I didn't know that was even allowed. So uh, we're going to have to get Graham Pitt here on the scene. Yeah, but so, uh, so called the admins. Go on the phone, Chatty B. Yeah, we'll sort this one out as a flurry of nades towards the top side early again. Squeaky Molly. Make that hot mollied squeaky smoked. And here we go. This is the rafter Molotov through. They're going top again. Yep, back in we go. Carrigan last round, unable to do it. The one before that, absolute monster. Flashes are good, but he's still able oh. to operate so well. Carrigan is not letting this go. He's got the bomb in his grasp. He just stands his ground and loading magazine after magazine. Blame. We've frozen like one, but just down to one. Man, it's robs to secure it. Two, one half on the first overtime, first map of the day. Mirage up next, Complexity's pick. First 19, the magic number. Let's see that double from Rops. Just a nice stylish finish. Mm. Jumping into Poison's POV. Bit of hot news off the presses here in oh, overtime, yeah? guys. NIP have put Nork on medical leave. I'm going to read a little bit further, but that's... Uh, hopefully it's all right. Yeah, hopefully there's not too many dramas there. We will get back underway with the second half. See if Mouse Sports can find some solutions. He's going for it. He's up in the face. That's a look we hadn't seen, and neither has Frozen, and he doesn't get to look much more into this round. And he's not backing away from this, Alex. No, but he wants more. Carrigan wasn't expecting oh. that poison. Venomous. That's lovely. Chris J? 
that's the end of the round. Rops is about to jump straight into Poison's jaws. Why not give the man another quad kill? Just to finish off the job on his eventual repeak. He's even going to flash for it. And that's the end of that. Beautiful stuff from Poison, demonstrating exactly of what he is capable. And at such a crucial juncture of the game as well, 17 to 17. I'd like to see that one again, please, sir, because he's coming in. Flash for the first, Frozen doesn't get caught, but then he sticks around enough that Carrigan starts jiggling him way out. A third, the third is the most impressive. And the fourth, just for the cherry on top. He looks happy. It's good to see Config with a smile on his face. Concentration stations for him, a good performance too. 30 frags dropped just into the overtime. Five AKs, all the nades they desire. Hey, blame nice. F. This guy, I, he is really quickly becoming a favorite player of mine to watch. I, I love the way he approaches the game, but this could turn into the upper hit sooner rather than later. Beamass goes off this flash. He does rush, turns it, but not well enough. Caught up, blinded. Carrigan there. Config still alive, though. Yeah, and Config's got a lot to do. <laughs> he gets cleared out. Blame F making the sound cue, but that's opened up the doors. Mouse spots with a double. Should be 18 for Mouse here. How do they get back in? I honestly don't know. A flash from Poison. Oh, but we need to do something absolutely ah. nuclear hey, here. Ladies and gentlemen, want to learn the pop flash for top sight? You go to the little uh, electric -y majiggy, pointy arrow, and then you throw it at the left of the oh, light. Oh dear, more apparently. Noise. We're learning a flash charge. Shush. Sorry. Okay, now poison. Then just left clicks it, and we're off to the races. No one's really going to be too bothered by that. You can see the assist, though. Evidence that it flashes at least your teammate. <laughs> um, but that's 18. And this course, the economy conversation stops, but in order to extend this one, Mouse Sports have been given an opportunity to end it right now and take their map pick. Starting on the T side, they could finish it too. On the very same side. Another heartbreak for complexity on Nuke. I mean, what was it? I was reading their overtime. It was a 16-14 versus Spirit, and then like a 19-22 to 22 result oh. uh, loss as well on Nuke. Close but no cigar. Could be name of the game here again. Blame this time tucking himself in towards the top of Secret. Carrigan will be the only one he has to deal with as the pack of fraggers once again towards the top site. Looks like similar as what they did last round. Throwing a lot of nades towards top and now towards ramp. And that's where Poison is with the orb. Blame unable to convert the nade. It's a little bit shy, but Poison's locked them out of ramp. So we'll be back to top. I'm, I'm a little worried about config. Low HP, he's been pretty critical to their success, but Oboe's here this time. Smoke fades I'm down. Time. That's the bomb right next to Oboe. You cannot ask for a better result oh, from that, but yeah. these three players now, what do they do with this? Oh, we look, this is looking set for OT again. Oboe's frag, the bomb delivery. Chris J has to hit this cleanly, but Oboe's so polished. He's already got himself the double. Now the smoke to bail him out. Rocks oh. walks into the meat blender. Give him another one. It's just Carrigan, five HP. And oh. he's finished off by Oboe. Four kills from the young gun. Get slatted. Heading ready to the second overtime. No timeout this time from us. Get straight on into the action. And they'll stay on those previous sides. This is Frozen's death. He really was not expecting that. I guess he had a different, maybe a fake out from Oba. Maybe he'd given him that vent sound drop. Either way, look at the round this Oba has managed to generate. Love it. He swaps guns three times there to pick up those frags. Grand Messier, so Pitt is on standing by. He's uh, given us the all clear. Okay, it's good to hear. Good Everything's to hear. good. There's no dramas. No foul play to be found. Well, this is the Rops oh. maneuver. They're aware. They know. Oh. They know about it. Can they deal with it? He's still alive. He's oh, got the nades. It's like three nades committed to just him. But in the meantime, they've all headed to lower. Yeah, Convict's dropped down the vents into Bemis. It will be Oboe again. Can he really save them? First, the top site. Now, the lower tucked into dark. Blames there as well. Nade for the doors, gonna make things awkward, but that's the swing, and that's the frag. Frozen's found it, evades the flash, Oboe's got a lot to do. Beamer doesn't have the info, and Carrigan takes him down this first round, looking and feeling a whole lot different. Rush could change things a little bit here. Ahead of the molly, punishes Frozen, knows the ball's down, doesn't know where to go, and now all onto Poison, he's trapped. I'm surprised he's alive, the flash kept him there, but Beamer could very well have signed a death sentence for another one, okay. Problem solved. <sighs> Wouldn't mind seeing Config pick up a secondary AWP or even Oboe. I, like, I'm, I'm not sure how proficient he is at the AWP, but just pull it up over towards ramp because Poison's having to be pulled into different positions right now, and that's weakening other areas. You can see this is the classic ROPS moves I was talking about. One of the very early adopters of always lurking around that squeaky door smoke and finding a pick towards the top of hut. 
But good stuff here from Carrigan, putting his body on the line. And there's Bemis to close things out. So high intensity fragging here for overtime number two. And away we go once more. Oh, that molly, I think, is a little bit shy. I'm not sure that was meant to land there. Oh, I'm unsure what he does with this now. He is in the smoke, and it's worked out well. He's proving his value time and time again. Encouraging the hit. There's the bomb. Config this time does stay alive for one, but now it's going to be Rush if they continue. They take a second to pause for thought. Okay, lots of time on the clock here. A minute 15 and it feels like so much has already happened as retooling back towards Yard, the final three members of Mouse Sports. They don't need to throw any grenades. Drops has the AWP so they can search for some frags, see if they can find somebody jiggling, jumping, and that will be Blame F over towards Credit Card. He's been spotted and see, perfect. Re picks in, Rops takes him down three on three. Gap in the smoke. Tiniest of gaps, but they've even got a flash. So they do get down without the uh, safe call. Obo's here. They could go vent to top if they like. They have lots of Molotovs to work with to clear out towards that ramp position. No one's close to rotate towards Obo, so he needs at least one. She's trying to get to ramp, but you're right. One would be ideal. They don't check on it. That's oh. excellent damage, and that's some good kills. Rops now with a big task. 24 seconds and two players to get past. He wants the AK, but... It's a bomb. Oh, it was on the top. long road, and that's Rush's sound cue to peak. 19-19, these teams are inseparable. And if anything, that's telling me more about Maus. I'm actually quite enjoying getting to see the new look to them. Definitely felt like they'd fallen flat. They said it themselves. It does seem like a reinvigoration is in order. Rops hitting some great orb shots, but it was Obo that really ruined this round for them. That double kill, they, you know, could see the perfect strategy out the window. One to bait the crosshair, the other to hit the shot on the railing, but he was good and the spray control was masterful. Okay, well, who's going to walk away with the lead first half of the second overtime? Baiting a little bit there with the sound cues, but more behind it. Blame, what can you give us? Nothing. Frozen makes sure of that. Oh, Frozen just dodges oh the molly. That's a lot of space for a low HP player to try and take. Well, Chris J, very cheeky, tucking into Mini. This is a dangerous game they're playing, all of them tucked in. Carrig Carrigan hits the Oboe. I thought he was in the air at that point. It does pull Config into Chris J. Two of them low, four on three. Two invested towards the top side at this point in time. So Carrigan, like that shot, I'll have to see that one again. It must have just been as his feet touched the ground. They descend lower. It was previously held by Config. Seems he's rotated back up to the top site with Rush and Chris J's uh, action. Bemis is continuing to keep them busy. He has the vent drop. That's the only way into the lower site right now unless Poison goes down heaven to ramp. So Bemis is doing a lot right here. He's holding the back. Even if Rop's doing somewhat of a similar role as well, if they tried to potentially go the other way. So Bemis keeping them busy. Finally, avenues open, but there you go. There's the other part of the trap that was held. And Rops is doing wonderfully. Gorgeous play. This one's wrapped up. Nice. Poison. They're all low. They are low HP, but obviously he doesn't Wrong know how weapon low, for the right? job. Yeah, exactly. You've got an AWP. Maybe the pistol would be better at this point. Deagle is there, but no one's going to give up anything, surely. Ooh, did he see a barrel, maybe? Yeah, he definitely did. <laughs> Time's the problem now. Poison just doesn't have anything to work with. As if he tags him. Through the corner. From 20 to 16. <laughs> <laughs> there are no scopes to finish it, and that's the end of the second overtime. We'll be taking another break, and we'll be back shortly. I think. You lied to us, Jeff. I thought there was another break after who, who two OTs. I thought there was two OTs, and we go for another break. I guess I'm wrong. Did we scrap that? I know, no, I just mean, like, wait, wait for the guy in your voice. I thought, no, head. well, I remember, like, yeah. Cologne. You were trying to be smug and, like, oh, I know everything. I'm, I'm but... a desk host, too. Oh, yeah. well, don't I look like a fool? We don't. <laughs> we play again. That's all right. I usually just wait for the voice inside my head to tell me something. All right, well, we'll keep going then. I'll all shut right. up. It's all right, Chad. We, we like the, I don't know, attempt? Yeah, yeah we'll go for attempt. <laughs> Oh, there's a voice in my head again. Funny that. Uh, blame F. <laughs> Taking territory, but look at the boost on the other side. Chad needs to recover. He's, he's feeling very small right now. Frozen's out of the bout as well. I like the idea of other boot. Ooh. 
Hello. Yeah, that's info. Rops is going to have a lot to do here. They're closing his gap, and oh dear. Does he get his, his body around the corner in time? Cuts just a glimpse on the jiggle of conflict, but they've completely lost two parts of the map at the same time. My god, Carrigan's been pushed down. All the way through lobby, oh. and a flash frag from Rops. That was the bomb as well. Just around the corner, so they will slow things down just a little bit. Safe retrieval from Rush. Can't, I keep trying to call him Rush Lee. Good catch every time. Oh. I was a whole half ahead. That's what I was thinking. We haven't even, we haven't even finished the end of yeah, the second a, OT yet. It's all good, though. It's all good. And now Rops is hitting more, more and more. Double kill from him to keep him competitive. Oboe's doing one better, and finally Frozen shuts him up. Gag order issued. Two on two, Lauren. This one is now. Bomb to be planted. Config trying to keep control. Ensure the cross is maintained. Smoke goes in, so Config now under pressure to make a move. Frozen trying to isolate anything. A touch of damage towards Rush, but it's nothing to write home about as Rops prepares himself for the ascent. Subtlety so far from the CT. He's not too much shown, not too much given. Config, he's just proactive. Late game, Rops so quickly Out of position, he can Rush. sit the defuse. And now let's see what he can do with this. Rops, how big are you feeling? Touches on it. There's the oh. boy. Did he? Two HP. Tag. He's gone back in. Oh. He's only gone and done it. Rops with absolutely nothing left of him. Gets the bloody diffuse. I need to see that one again. Rops, the sound cue on the molly. He takes down another burn damage. The molly for the info. Oh, it felt like he did everything right. Let's see this one again. So this is a big frag to start things off. Start off proceedings. Chad's right. He realizes the plan is for him. But just oh, taking that no. fight config. Oh, wow. With a two points of health in it. Puts Mouse Sports on 21. That's got the energies high. And quite the contrast, I'm sure, for complexity is this starting to feel all too foreboding. Two in a row on Nuke has been their shortcomings. Admittedly undefeated here in Pro League. But Nuke, the map they've struggled with. The flash is good. And he's gone through. Back turn to one. Config punishes. Quick to spank. And five on four as they descend. It was Carrigan trying to hold them at bay in that lower site, leaving Poison in position to try and catch someone. The org. Good gun for the job. I was just about to ask, you know, if you're, you can play really, really low on those stairs and just look for the tips of the heads. Yeah, that could be dangerous if they... Huh? Okay, Rob's the absolute menace. He's taken Rush out of the equation again. That's pressure now. The flank is a possibility and Rops has completely left that. So the entire time they will be worried about the fourth man coming from the rear, but... He's rotated back and, oh my God, the flash work is great. Got Still, one. they go through. Config gets the bomb back, it's in check. But Carrigan now has two problems on two fronts. He's gonna focus towards Poison, but there's the hit from above. Config's there. And now oh. Chris J, your final man. It's all falling <laughs> together at the right time. A 1v3. Oh, great round, loving this. We, we're gonna get another one. Spots of the jump peak and config executes. So four kills from config. He's not quite done playing yet. He's in pursuit of the 40 bomb. <laughs> they say life begins at 40. All right. Well, Rops is bringing back out the AWP again. I mean, he's doing all right. He's doing great. He's doing great. I mean, so full flash and you could see how full flashed he was. He unloads his mag down to seven. Config just as soon as the gap fades. This was... A typical blame frag, and this was Config just healing the deal as well. Four kills, lovely start. All right, final round, second overtime, first map, first game. Bemis, top, expecting something quick, or at least ready for it. Your decision-making process now for the 10 individuals with mouse and keyboard in their hands determines whether or not they'll be looking back at this nuke with a grimace or a smile. This is the hardest round to call. There's so much pressure on this moment. You know the money's good. Overtime allows for that time and time again. You're going up against another full buy and it's T-side nuke. Setting up their smokes now. Looks like we're going back to the L block. Frozen's gonna take note. Smoke goes in as well. Same with the nade. Yeah, the idea of the one way, very scary stuff for complexity. Feels like they've just respected that yeah. one way and they're all just waiting. Frozen smoke has bought them so much time. And now they haven't even been able to cross back. Blame's in a position to throw another smoke to try and get them across. They'll probably have a smoke on the fly from one of the three. No one has one. 34 seconds. Slides in front of Squeaky, so now it's top misdirection. 
Okay, Chris. Oh, that was the double. Two. He could have. Config standing there, brazen as ever, but they have made it towards lower. But time's ticking, and Frozen's down here. Peaks it, nades it, falls away from it. Oh, it just misses again. So many small elements just about being held on by the T's. But finally, they're all in the right place, and Robs isn't going to miss that. Ten seconds now. Config can't do it. It's Mouse Sports on map one. Wow, what a win.